that we agreed upon, uh, which I won't really speak on because then people twist words and all of a sudden should it be all different. But it, it is a sawed off record. Uh, this is sawed off to the fullest. We got a few copies out there. Uh, things will change. Uh, it will be strictly sawed off on the rest of uh, the copies that get printed uh, from now on. Uh, this is a sawed off record. And uh, Napper is my homeboy. And uh, he was involved in this particular situation with me. It was a business situation that we created. And that's it. Nothing else. Okay, okay. So you already mentioned your own label, Sort of Records, now. Um, like two years ago, you released the Cosmere album, a little solo album. But I mean, who is signed to the label uh, these days? You know? Well, uh, we're doing a new uh, Seldom Seen record. Uh, we're doing another Cosme record. Uh, and I got plenty more surprises, but I'm gonna just leave it at, at that, you know. Uh, leave the fans in suspense. And like you said earlier, shit flies out of nowhere. With Mr. Al, you never know what the fuck's gonna go down. Okay, okay, so you want to have like some uh, surprises coming, you know, but some people saw like a video, you know, of a young uh, Chicano rapper going by the name of uh, Lil Blue and he was supposed to be from uh, Sort of Records, you know, so what's going on uh, with him? Young Blue, uh, yeah, that's uh, uh, an artist that I have on standby due to personal issues right now, but uh, shit should get cracking real soon and uh, we should pursue whatever it is that we're gonna do with Mr. Young Blue a very talented kid uh, and uh, we will see what happens okay okay so what else are you working on right now when it comes to music like a new um, Night Owl album because you always drop compilations from time to time here too so I mean let us know Well, right now I got a new Spanish album that I'm finishing as we speak, uh, and that should be uh, like my next uh, like priority is my new Spanish album. I'm really, really putting uh, all my heart and effort into this one, and I'm sure it's going to be pretty big. Do you already have like somewhat of an idea when we can expect it uh, to see in stores? <clears throat> On my Spanish record, um, it's pretty much done already, but um, I want to get a big major deal with this record because it's fucking off the hook. And uh, in order to make money now, you need big, big money behind you and uh, a lot of promotion and all that kind of shit. So I'm not trying to release it on the streets. I'm trying to you know, do something big with the album. So we'll see what happens. You know, normally I wanted to ask you that later on during the interview, you, you know, but since you just said that your next album will be another uh, Spanish one, um, I mean, what do you prefer, like rapping on English or Spanish? Uh, I would say both, because I can. I can do it in both English and Spanish. Uh, so to me, it's the same. It doesn't matter. Just like, you know, in all the interviews, you know, that we have done so far, You know, seems like I do always have to ask you uh, about that one. Uh, I mean, what's going on? This is still unreleased, but long awaited, you know, Night Stalker album. The Night Stalker, huh? Yeah. Well, the Night Stalker will be a classic. And you best believe that it will be released. I just don't know when I'm going to release it because that particular album will never get old. Uh, that album will be uh, mostly all oldies and uh, it's gonna be off the hook so I mean just sit tight wait and when it happens it will happen okay sounds cool sounds cool I mean but you said oldies you know I mean some fans uh, I'm pretty sure will be saying like hmm oldies we've heard it in Chicano rap for 10 to 12 years now that's played out I mean, what would you say about statements like this? Well, statements like that to me don't really bother me because they're a very minimal 
uh, numerous uh, amount of people. So uh, what they feel and what they think really is irrelevant to what I think. I do what Mr. Night Owl does best, and that's create music. And um, as far as uh, people saying, you know, Chicano rap this, Chicano rap that, I mean, honestly, uh, I am Chicano, so that's what I do. Uh, I don't try to rap like, you know, yeah, what's up, Holmes, you know, and in my music, to me that's pretty fucking stupid. Nobody talks like that no more. But uh, what I do is is bring to the people their music, something they can be affiliated with. Um, I don't try to rap like no black guy. That's not me. Like a lot of these young kids want to act black or talk like they're black. They're fucking stupid and retarded. What the fuck are they thinking, you know? You're labeled a Chicano when you're born a Chicano. But when you're fucking doing music, if you're a Chicano, that's what you need to do. You can't do fucking black rap because you ain't fucking black. You got to do what you do. It's like you don't see black people rapping on their shit and be like, Orale, what's up, homes? They don't fucking do that shit. They got their own language, their own slang. We got ours. We do ours and we keep it real. Now, the ones that don't want to do that, then obviously they have a problem with their own culture. Now, myself, I give the crowd what they want to listen to, but yet I don't try to, like, just put myself in one situation where only certain people will listen to my music. Uh, music is, is a worldwide form of expression and I try to release it to everybody equally but I just happen to be Chicano therefore my people need to embrace what I do instead of embracing some other motherfucker that ain't even Chicano and uh, you know bumping their shit they, they need to be real bump what the fuck we do I mean we are what represents Chicano rap because we're Chicano now if the crowd out there doesn't want to support what we do then what the fuck are you going to support? You're going to go buy some other bullshit from somebody else that ain't going to support you, period. So, I mean, keep it real. And uh, Chicano rap this, Chicano rap, because that's what it's labeled. It doesn't mean that everything that is done uh, through Chicano rap has to be oldies or whatever, but if you think back, what did, what did we grow up listening to when we were kids? Oldies, old school. That's all we ever listened to. Therefore, I just want to give my people something back that they can relate to. And with that particular album will be targeted and marketed only for Chicanos. Fuck everybody else. It's only going to be for those that listen to Chicano rap. So that's why I'm going to fucking give my people something that they can embrace and hold and say, this is for us and only us and make them feel proud of what the fuck I do. I'm not trying to give music to somebody else or have somebody else give an opinion on my shit. If they don't like it, fuck them. If they like it, that's cool. But I want to give my people something they can be proud of. That's it. Okay, cool, cool. So, um, something, you know, that I have been uh, wondering about is, you know, that you barely drop uh, any uh, music videos. You know, I mean, what's up with that? Well, I mean, music videos, to me, if you ain't got the channels behind you, it's a waste of money. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that don't support, you know, and there are a bunch of fucking cheap motherfuckers that like to freeload and get stuff off the internet. So, videos get quite expensive if you want a good video. So, why should I invest money into videos and do all kinds of shit? And all of a sudden, I'm 40, 50 grand in the hole. And the people out there ain't gonna support. They're gonna be cheap skates and download shit for free off the internet. But I gotta eat those $50,000. And for me to recoup that money to make more records and more videos, I gotta sell a bunch of units. I gotta hustle. I gotta do a bunch of shit. Why should I do all that when the people out there are a bunch of fucking cheap skates? Now, if there was support from our our people and everybody else in the business, then of course I would, you know, do a lot more stuff because everything that I do, like when I record at a studio, I go to top-notch studios and record and invest a lot of money into what I do. A lot of people record in garages, in, in, in their fucking bedroom, and they don't invest no money. You know, a couple thousand bucks, their album's done. 